Hi. I would like to talk to you about something that's on my mind. Um, uh, just thinking about uh, something uh, pastor's wife had said to, said uh, in church saying there's two kingdoms fighting against each other thanks to the uh, kingdom of God and the kingdom of um, darkness oh, the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness I mean, if you want it. however the only two kingdoms that, that I really see fighting fighting each other are uh, Not the kingdom of light, but the, or the kingdom of darkness, but rather, uh, they're both. I mean, they're both kingdoms of greatness. I mean, I mean basically, um, Israel versus Judah. I mean, not familiar with that. I mean, in 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 the books of the kings. Uh, uh, first, ki first Kings, uh, where the uh, kingdom of Israel split into two kingdoms, the northern kingdom of Israel, which basically ended up rejecting God and um, falling into idol worship, and the southern kingdom of Judah, which uh, retained um, Worship with God, but also worshipped idols, and um, and there were times when the, when these two kingdoms were at war with each other, and there was a time where um, they made peace with each other. I mean, it's around the time of uh, King Ahab and King Jehoshaphat. I mean. And these two kingdoms um, are are an allegory of um, current um, political situation. The uh, I would say the Democrats are the Northern Kingdom of Israel, and the Republicans are the uh, Southern Kingdom of Judah. I mean. And God's trying to get the uh, trying trying to get the attention of both. I mean, I mean, and, uh, both kingdoms were eventually conquered. I mean. Northern Kingdom of Israel by the Assyrians and the Southern Kingdom of Judah later on by the Babylonians and I mean the thing is both both sides think that they're uh, they're in the Kingdom of Light that they're uh, They think they think they they have the, the um they they have God on their side or something like that and it's like yeah. I mean but both of them are wrong I mean. I mean, the Democrats because they reject the holiness and righteousness of God, and the Republicans for rejecting the uh, rejecting the charity and mercy of God.
neither of them are are um are entirely correct in um we must be mindful of um those things and basically pray pray for the two kingdoms to uh Recognize that they're b being used by Satan to uh, fight among among each other. Uh, and, uh, but of course, uh, Satan is the uh, master deceiver. He uh, he. I mean, he comes as an angel of light. He um, he wraps a little bit of light and a lot of and a lot of truth and uh, he um, gets gets people to fall uh, fall into his traps and like. We see, we see this uh, later on with um, later on in the Bible in the New Testament with uh, d two different sects that are fighting against each other the uh, the um, Pharisees and the Sadducees I mean. And Jesus told told both sides that they're both wrong, and they decided to um, team up with each other to get to get rid of Jesus. And I mean, you know, they didn't they didn't want God to tell tell them that they're they were wrong and they especially didn't want want somebody claiming to be God to tell them that they were both wrong and that's I mean And that's why God put the Jews on the back burner for for a few millennia. I mean, I mean he, I mean God's going to turn his attention again to the Jews, and he's going to um, bring about the conclusion of the whole whole matter. I mean, he's going to bring the Jews into. I mean, his everlasting kingdom, even through the tribulations that are to come. I mean, there's, there's gonna be uh, seven years of um, tribulation. It's going to ha happen upon the earth, and God's going to focus all his attention on Israel to get get, get them back to. Um, Yeah, and confess that um, Jesus Christ is their is their Messiah, and, um, and he's going to get the rest of the um, world to see that um, Jesus is um, the Messiah. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to share with you in this video. So. Have a good day, and God bless you.